Hi, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so it's late night. I'm getting ready to wrap it up, wrap the day up, but I had to come and make this video. Okay, so this video is going to be again because I keep I keep getting stories and people writing me and I'm going to make this one called Nice Girls Finish Last Part 2 because y'all didn't hear the first one. Okay, let me tell y'all again. Nice Girls Finish Last nice girls finish last okay if you are too nice if you are too giving if you put other people's needs before your own especially a man you're gonna finish last okay you're not gonna get the man he's gonna end up leaving you and cheating on you or treating you like trash you're not gonna get what you want because you're too nice okay and uh, don't listen to the man on these comments all they want is an easy pushover that they can take advantage of. You've seen their comments. Oh, I just take advantage of it, hit it and quit it and leave. So when you make it a challenge to them, A, you're going to get rid of the people who are not potential um, long-term partners. B, you're only going to get the attention of people who take you seriously and respect you. Okay? C, you're not going to get taken advantage of. Okay? So using common sense... <laughs> You should know that being a pushover, being a doormat, being too nice and giving to someone is not the answer. Okay, ladies, I don't care what you've been told, what you haven't been told. Think about this. Every woman that your man runs back to and leaves you for is bitch. Okay? Why? Because that's what men like. They won't ever admit it. But that's what they like. Okay? They don't like the good girl. It gets boring after about a month. Then they're ready for some, something exciting, something challenging, something that will keep them on the edge of their seats. Something that they can actually work for. Okay? If you give everything up too easy, oh, I love you, I'll do whatever you want. After about a month, that gets old, and then he's off to the next one. Okay? So don't do it. Don't cook. Don't wash dishes. Don't do any of that. Okay? Don't sleep with a man until he spent at least over $1,000 on you. You know, at least 2000 depending on how much money he has. Okay? I've said this in my last videos. If you've given it up for a cheeseburger, you're stupid. Okay? I'm just, I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you. Okay? Um, I'm telling you how to get what you want. You know? You can't be a pushover. There are plenty of men who will line up to date you, no matter how you look, okay? Because there's always some man that looks worse, okay? And they, they all have, they all make money, they can get a paycheck, you know? So, you don't have to take crap from somebody just because you think they're uh, cute or, oh, this is a good uh, per person, partner, or whatever. If they're not treating you good, they're not good for you, okay? If they're not making you a priority, they're not good for you. If you have to call them, text them, and they don't call you and text you back, you're too nice, okay? When I used to date, if you didn't call me, if I called you and you didn't call me, I was gone out with the next person, okay? I didn't play that, and you know, I would give them a good amount of time, you know, and if I didn't hear back, I'm like, you know what, Psh, I'm going out with my life. And then they would call back, oh, I'm sorry, I'm on a date. Click. And men's ego are, egos are so fragile, they'll think you're joking. <laughs> That's so funny, where are you for real? I'm on a date. <laughs> you know, um, what? That, yeah, you, were, you know, we were supposed to have plans, I called. You didn't call back, so I got back up, you know. <laughs> oh, it's like that. Yes, it's like that. Oh, I see. you. <laughs> Click. Bye. You know, I don't waste time with people. Why? You don't waste time for people that don't put you as a priority. Okay? Because if you're always waiting on someone, what do you think they're doing while you're waiting on them? They're not waiting on you. They're not thinking about you. They're doing what they want to do. So, ladies don't sit there and wait for no man oh well he's in his marriage and he's just not happy and he can't leave right now because of his money and I'm just gonna be his uh gonna be here when he needs them me and you know that's fine be the side chick be the mistress but don't complain about it you know if that's that's your role that's your role don't complain about it don't ask him when he's leaving his wife and da, 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 because he already told you your place you know wait for me <laughs> you know 
until death do us part. His wife's going to have to die. He's going to have to die. Okay? So, basically, move on with your life. Don't be the nice girl. Okay? Every man knows that nice girl. Oh, I can call her. She'll do whatever I ask. Oh, yeah, let's call her. But then as soon as the person that he was really wanting starts giving him the time of day, he's gone. He's like, oh, I like this one. She, she's finally coming around. I, I had to work super hard and I didn't ever think I could get a chance with this one. But now she's paying me some attention. So I'm going to leave this nice girl because I know she'll take me back. Even if I mess over her because she's just nice. She's a doormat. I'll be back. Okay, she's not going anywhere. She don't know any better. So he'll go with the woman, go back to the woman or ex or new person, cheat, do whatever, whatever, and then he'll go, I'm so sorry, I was confused, I didn't know what I wanted, now I do. Same thing, and then it's going to be a pattern. So, if you put up with that kind of stuff, ladies, he better be rich, he better be a millionaire, and you better be shopping and having your own side do too, okay? Because if not, you're getting played, and you're, you, you're losing your youth, and you're being mentally abused by being mistreated, so... Y'all need to stop all that. Stop being so nice. You know, a lot of people say, well, we don't look all beautiful and stuff. We can Look, let me tell you something. Half the people on television are ugly. Okay. It's called hair and makeup. Okay. That's what it's called. It's called hair, eyebrows, highlight, lipstick, earrings, jewelry. That's what it's called. You can, if, if they can take the most basic person and make them look beautiful, why why can't you do the same to yourself okay if you want men to look at you different if you want more attention if you want to be treated better then make yourself look like the women that they're treating better than you okay that's all i'm going to say no woman is ugly okay it's a canvas okay do you think i look like this when i wake up no i don't look like this i put on makeup i do my hair i might wear wigs every now and then i'll straighten my hair every now and then i'm putting products in my hair i got makeup mascara bronzer highlighter lipstick Ugh. i can't even name it all but i will put it on if it's gonna get me what i need <laughs> okay so y'all can't keep using that excuse because anybody anybody can look good okay anybody i don't care even if you can take an ugly man and turn it into a beautiful woman ladies you have no excuse all right i'll see y'all later bye